Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to see some useful expressions from Unit Five uh, from the chapter Listening. It will be presented by S. Gayatri, a PG Research Department of English in St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Kerala. There are many expressions are there in the world to express our feelings in the most effective way. Let me just tell you something when it comes to encouraging. There are many phrases, but here I just give a four important things that makes you feel really comfortable. First one would be, if you really want to encourage anybody, you can just use the expression, so it's fine. I wish I could do as well. That's the most encouraging. Keep it up. When it comes to expressing pleasure, you can say that, oh, I'm really delighted. Is the best news I've heard for a long time. I can say how pleased I am. It's real good news. And when it comes to expressing displeasure, that means when you're not really happy with the things that go around, you can use the, the phrases like, I'm really annoyed. It really makes me mad. I'm fed up with it. I'm extremely displeased. And when you really want to remind anything to anybody, and in the most polite way, politeful way, we can use some expressions like, I would like to remind you about so and so. Don't forget about the things, uh, about the things that you have been really planning for. I hope you'll remember about the important occasion. I hope you don't mind me reminding about um, uh, the particular event for the next year. So these are the phrases that will make you feel comfortable when it comes to remind anything to anybody. And the next one would be telling someone to do something. Uh, there are many ways, as, as I said earlier, um, certain times even your intention is not uh, really, uh, you know, like uh, your intention is not at all make other person to feel comfortable. But even then, some expression would uh, prop the other person to think that you're pretty rude or you're a little rude. So to avoid the situation, you can use the phrases like, look at this. Would you please, would you mind, please? And when it comes to refusing to do something, that means, um, it is, I think it is one of the uh, important ones when it comes to refuse because uh, there are certain occasions we are told to uh, really not accept the situation. But uh, here are the four phrases that makes you to say uh, the refuse in the most gentle way. Say, for instance, I'm sorry. Uh, I won't be able to do that favor like, I'm sorry, it's not possible. I'm sorry, I don't think I can do that for you. I'm sorry to say that it may not be possible right now. I'm giving yourself time to think. Uh, sometimes um, uh, your mind may be a bit wavery. You can't really catch the things at first go. That time you need to buy sometimes. So that time we can use these phrases to fill up. So this for instance, just let me think about this for a moment. Now, what is the word, phrase, or expression? Okay, what's what was her name or his name? Just a moment, wait, 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 wait. And changing the subject. Uh, sometimes uh, some conversation would make you to feel really uh, discomfortable. Or sometimes it will make you feel vague. Um, you might not really be entertained to uh, really uh, produce some conversation. During that instance, you can say a word like, oh, by the way, oh, before I further, let me just remind the thing. Just to change the subject for a moment, why don't we just go for a cup of coffee? Like, oh, nearly I forgot to tell you that thing. So these are, uh, of course, it was a little short, but there are many other phrases are there, but my kind advice would be that try to use it all these phrases in the most comfortable way because I believe that uh, knowing all those things it will be a little easier, but using the things will make you uh, really like a proven speaker. So, whatever the phrases that we discussed so far, try to use it in everyday conversation whenever, wherever you get that kind of opportunity or environment. Please just incorporate all those phrases in your daily conversation. And uh, over the course of time, you will feel really comfortable. In addition to all those things, it also, you know, give a look that to a language with polish. So, uh, this is a little reminder from my end. I, I think you will absolutely enjoy it. Thank you, Shreema.